Welcome to the 2001 NATMA World Conference. Hi there, I'm Jane Park, and today we'll be experiencing the premier event in the martial arts industry. I'll be showing you some highlights of the event and be introducing you to some regional directors. For starters, though, this event broke all attendance records. It was simply the largest gathering of martial artists in modern history. We've got a lot to cover, so let's go. Yeah, I mean, this year is probably the, the best year ever. Um, so we got a lot of sales out of it. Um, I've been coming here for I don't know, five or six years, I believe. We, we were here when they started. As a martial artist, I mean, uh, especially an Olympian, I mean, I think um, uh, being in the presence of the other great uh, martial artists like Joe Lewis and, you know, there's so many great names here that uh, it's like a, a fraternity group. You know, we love to come, we love to get together, tell each, tell each other stories and, uh, uh, NATMA just makes a great uh, environment to do all that. We're with a definite icon in the martial arts industry, Master Jun Ri. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. <laughs> Master, tell us a little bit about what your impression is of the weekend and the conference. Well, every time I come, this is third year now, I'm really impressed because it's growing and leaps and bound. This kind of activity is very necessary to develop friendships among all martial artists and sharing good ideas with each other and so that we can really develop our industry. Number one, I always ask my, my friends, what is more important, your car or your children? Well, uh, we, of course, everyone will say our children, then we should be bigger than General Motors. Third seminar, it's fabulous. I, this time uh, I brought my whole staff with, so uh, we've got uh, eight, uh, eight of our staff members here. New students that are here, the new instructors that are here, are the future masters. So uh, the, the fellows that are here, and with John, uh, John Graydon's leadership, uh, to uh, have those uh, fellows you know, come up to the point they should be at to uh, inspire those young, uh, young instructors. It's a big time for change. Uh, Fairtex is right on that crest of change. I see and NAMA as well, and that's why we're associated with NAMA because we're looking to be riding the wave of the new change. It's, a, it's an exciting time because whatever we can envision, we can make happen, and that's the way I feel. And we're able to merge in the traditional martial arts curriculums, the kids' curriculums, the fitness curriculums, the real gyms, the weightlifting gyms, the floor for cardio kickboxing, the floor for adult programming. Everything is merging into the martial art fitness industry. And that's the new industry. I don't want to be a part of the martial arts industry. I don't want to be part of the fitness industry. I want it both. I want this billion dollar industry and I want a big chunk of it. people and so many celebrities here that I'm sure I'm gonna find one hold on one second you know what there's Maurice 2001 North American K1 champion Maurice hi hey, how are you <laughs> I'm great how are you well this is my first time here it's been very interesting for me being a quote-unquote kickboxer dealing with the different martial arts it's been very very receiving but they received me very well and of course, being the kind of guy I am, I receive them very well as well. Now tell me um, what you think this conference does for all martial arts in well, the industry. There, that there, it gives opportunity for the martial art to grow as a big community because there's a big community out there, but they're all separate, you know, different styles. But here, they're, for, they're kind of learn to work together. thing in martial arts is also understanding history and history is a big foundation as to who we are and what we are and where we're going so you have to acknowledge your past you know live in your present and also plan for your future and I think that NAMA has done a fantastic job of raising the level of professionalism I think the most important thing that I can say to anybody is to get away from the hype and everything else but just to say follow what's in your heart 
you know, it's all about the passion of one soul that makes things great. The, the martial artists that have made the industry grow is because they're all men that follow their passions. Barry Vanover and he's going to give us his perspective on attendance. Tell me how many of your students are here and what are they here for? Uh, we have eight staff members here. Uh, my program director has been in uh, Miss Schumann's seminars throughout the weekend. Uh, my instructors have been doing all the Muay Thai things, trying to get new drills for our classes. So it's been really exciting. Uh, you know, almost 1,500, 1,400 people here. Uh, the excitement, I think the biggest part of the weekend for me is networking. Uh, you see, you, you, everywhere you look, there's a group of people over here talking about ideas. There's a group of people over here. Last night, we were out on the beach, out by the hotel at the Hilton. Uh, me and some of the top school owners in the country sitting around were until 12.30 just talking about business. And it was, it's just a really great, powerful weekend. Uh, bumping into Mr. Graydon and talking to him, and he always seems like he has time to talk to someone and to answer any questions. Uh, and then just the, the regional directors for me to network with these guys is powerful. And then my staff is just pumped. There's a lot of action going on. I certainly hear something going on in this room. Whoa, some padded weapon action. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing. Uh, this is called Sports Chambara. It's about 30 years old. It replicates basically Japanese traditional kendo. Very good cardio. It's probably the best. about your insight into this conference and what you're hoping to get out of it as well as give to it. Well we've been coming for several years now and what has uh, been amazing to us is the growing number of professional martial artists that keep passing by our booth each day and uh, this year is no exception. If you had to describe the NATMA conference in just a few words how would you sum it all up? I, I have one word probably unprecedented. Most of people don't understand my English. So, I wanna do just to do it. Just to do it. Nike. to introduce to you one of your Lifetime Achievement Award winners, Pumio Demura. Sir, thank you so much for stopping and talk with us. Thank and you very much for inviting me. So what has gotten you the most excited about this year's conference? Well, because uh, from last year, people I meet, I hear meet again this year, and they've been very nice to me. And uh, that's the all martial art about, martial art about. I think this is a great thing because more, a lot of people have uh, uh, effort. So, you know, the future is very bright. And I think a lot of young people are looking forward to be a uh, martial artist. But this is one of the uh, good things. And I hear a lot of people say the good things. I think uh, we should learn more and uh, to keep continue to make grow. And I think this way to make all people friends.
Bama's sole mission is to help each of you school owners to be as successful as possible in this industry. In the history of martial arts, no other organization has done as much to contribute to the success of each school owner and to the overall professional growth of this industry. There's an old saying, the lead dog gets all the thorns. The dogs in the rear get all the dust. This man has taken a lot of thorns for us, folks. And in the near future, in the next couple of years, he's going to be taking a lot of thorns for us. I would like to ask you from the bottom of my heart to please, let's give this man our continued support. Let me welcome Natmus on John Graydon. All of these master icons and countless others like Ed Parker and Black Belt Magazine all made huge changes in the course of martial arts history, changes that we take for granted today. All of them were also attacked and vilified for leading that change, but they stood up for what they believe in. And that's how revolutions begin. Let's not forget that we are the heirs to that revolution. The torch has been passed to a new generation of instructor, disciplined, proud, and they will not permit this industry to slip backwards. Like these master icons, your association, the National Association of Professional Martial Artists, has pioneered a revolution in the most important arena of all, the martial arts classroom.